California earthquakes today ongoing and why we need more earthquakes despite fears of the big one hitting from the San Andreas Fault. Well, according to Georgina Laud Express UK from what she learned from the US Geological Survey and specialist Dr. Jones, uh, California has been rocked by the large earthquakes of late of July 4th and July 5th, the major one of 7.1 magnitude. Now, one seismologist, Dr. Lucy Jones, specifically says that we need more earthquakes even though we're afraid of the big ones uh, striking in uh, the area of the San Andreas, South California, around Los Angeles. As we know, Southern California has been rattled by the two large earthquakes recently, the 6.4 July 4th and the 7.1 July 5th, Friday. This quake was so large that a crack was created in the earth which can be seen from space near its epicenter in Ridgecrest, California, in the area of Trona, near the China Lake Naval Base, California, and sent residents, of course, looking for cover. I, they said it lasted about a minute. Sorry, about 30 seconds. Now, roads, as we know, have suffered damage. They've cracked. They've buckled under. And... Um, there's images on social media showing the damage in houses, in grocery stores, and even on the highways, especially during the weekend. People uh, have gone, and I guess they will be going this weekend as well, to visit the areas, especially the cracks. The geologists I know are out there because it's their job to find out exactly what's going on. Now, in an interview with uh, NBC's Lester Holt, seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones said that we need more earthquakes. When she was asked whether she likes that people are scared of them, Dr. Jones said it doesn't hurt because in the long run we need more earthquakes. It's because we've had an earthquake drought. People were saying this, the specialists were saying that uh, that area was overdue for earthquakes because they haven't had a six magnitude for quite some time. Now she said, need meaning the geology shows that our long time average of earthquakes is quite a bit higher than we've had for the last 20 years. This is the quietest 20 years in Southern California history. We've never gone 20 years without a six before, she said. And she continues, and it can lead to some complacency or at least some individuals not knowing what they should be doing. End quote. Now, her full interview will be aired at NBC tonight. Now, this comes as uh, U.S. geologists, according to them, the big one, the massive quake that is to strike the San Andreas Fault, is likely overdue. This is exactly what Dr. Michio Kaku, on the morning before the 7.1 struck, on the morning of Friday, July 5th, he was talking about this, saying that the major earthquake of San Andreas is overdue by about 200 years. And lo and behold, about 8.20 in the evening on Friday, the 7.1 struck. So this comes according to geologists saying the big one, the massive quake to strike San Andreas, is overdue. According to United States Geological Survey, South Andre San Andreas Fault has typically seen large earthquakes about every 150 years. Now, since the last large earthquake occurred in 1857, the southern area of the fault is considered a likely location for an earthquake in the next few years. USGS website said that given a major 7.9 magnitude quake in San Francisco in 1906, there is slightly lower chance of magnitude uh, major quake happening in the northern part of California because they already had one in 1906. In 1857, the Fort Tijon earthquake struck at 8.20 a.m. and an estimated moment have a magnitude of 7.9. It ruptured the southern part of San Andreas Fault for the length of about 225 miles between Parkfield and Wrightwood. 
Dr. Lucy Jones said that there is about a 2% chance of the big one striking every year, or 1 in 20,000 every day. She said one should always be prepared for a big one. Now, according to USGS, this type of an earthquake would likely be preceded by, of course, increased in seismic activity over a period of time. Now, over the past 20 years, Dr. Joe said Thursday that Southern California experienced an extremely quiet time as far as seismicity is concerned, earthquakes. And going forward, she said this is more what we should be thinking about. Thinking about, of course, a major quake coming to the San Andreas Fault, Dr. Michio Kaku said that he believes that there's a 99% chance in the next 30 years the Southern California San Andreas part will give a major earthquake. So we're still having upticks as I'm talking to you now. The, um, I'm, I, think, I think I should do another uh, video on that because we've had 1,698 quakes today alone. Okay, those are little ones as, and big ones. They're not just every, anything over 2.5 2 magnitude. They're everything. Um, in the Coso Valley area of Ridgewood. And we've also had 20 striking uh, just a little bit east of Los Angeles. And we've had 20 in the area of uh, Salton Sea. 20 eight north of San Francisco, and uh, 12 in the area of Seattle, 12. It's not just the, this is the, uh, we're talking about where the 4.6 struck. Well, we've had a, a swarm of about 12 earthquakes just today. Now, looking at the Alatra, I'll leave a link below for you for that. We've had over 2,000 earthquakes today and most of them have been in the California area. Uh, yes, looking through the whole list of them, I really cannot understand uh, yeah, about to three, three magnitude, uh, Ridgecrest two and a half, uh, what's that, three again, three, no, that's Costa Rica. Okay, uh, Searles Valley, 3.94, 3.94, minus 0 0.34 kilometers depth, that must be a mistake, I'm sure they're going to fix that, 3.94, that's not, and uh, that's not little, the geysers had a central California 3.3, we said 3.94, uh, Searles Valley 3.5, again 2.6. Uh, my, I'm going too fast. I think we had a 3.3 at the geysers, which is um, Clear Lake, and uh, and is continuing. Okay, the Searles Valley, Little Lake area is just hopping. What can I tell you? Uh, I don't understand. I think that uh, I'm going through them. Uh, I don't know if in the uh, Searles Valley, California. Okay, those are the other, other areas. Um, Monroe, Washington. 3.49, okay, that's around the area of uh, um, Seattle that we had, so that's still rocking, and um, but most of them, as we know, are Searles Valley, Ridgecrest area, and uh, even around a 3.9. So going through that, it's about we're talking about uh, the geysers again are. are Active, I see more, more of them, and I think the geysers, what we said before, are, we had 21 earthquakes yesterday, and today they are at uh, 28. 28, okay? So that's the um, 
clearly a volcano there, the geysers, the biggest geothermal area of the world, 350 uh, drill holes going down about 12,000 feet. And uh, basically, from what I see, Los Angeles has 17, Salt and Buttes 20, 1,700 in the Searles Valley Ridgecrest area, and along the uh, Los Angeles Fault. Let me give you a picture. Um, Searles Valley Ridgecrest uh, Coastal Volcanic Field area. And you can see that we've had an uptick along the San Andreas. This is the, sorry, that's the, the um, Clear Lake area of uh, Mammoth Lakes. And let's go to the area of Seattle, 12 earthquakes. This we'll take a look at later on separately because there's an uptick uh, on the uh, you see they have little ones here as well. Okay. Yellowstone National Park. Um, we'll take a look at that because we're going to take a look at what Steamboat Geyser has been up to. Because that's been roaring as well. Okay. What is that one? 2.7 in Nevada. So I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.